Hello, my fellow Italians. As of lately, there have been some concerns about some of the content that I make. More specifically, my visual novels. Other than the fact that they are overly edgy and cringy, though I kind of made them edgy on purpose because I know how much you Italians love edge. But there has been some discussion in certain parts of the fandom about the sensitivity of my content and how what I make is not okay and it can be really distasteful. And with all the cancel culture going around, I feel like there's some things that I need to address. Let me start off by saying this. When it comes to Ironheart and Rustification Roulette, I used to work with a partner when it came to the early drafts. This partner was a rather toxic person, but they helped me write a lot of the script. But I thought I had scrubbed my works clean of their contributions. But alas, some of their scripts has managed to slip past me. But there were criticisms about my own parts in these works as well. I'm not a person who lets things like harsh critique or mean comments get to me, but this time it really made me feel upset with myself. Because this happens a lot to me, and I want to curl up into a ball and cringe whenever this happens. We all have those moments, right? When you're reading your own work from years ago and you're like, oh gosh, that was so cringe, why did I write that? I almost abandoned some of my projects entirely because the work is seen as so problematic or super cringy. And then one day I realized it doesn't matter how much I change the content or rewrite the script. This will continue to happen because this problem lies with me as a person. I am what some would say on the spectrum. I am on the very mild end of the autism spectrum, but I am guess you could say I'm autistic nonetheless. So a part of this may come from the fact that I don't have a sensitivity filter in my brain, but I'm not going to push this onto mental illness and use that as an excuse. Actually, it goes a lot deeper than that. People like me, or people that deal with the subjects that I deal with in the professional setting, autistic or not, have the exact same issue that I do. Let me tell you a bit about myself, or rather, what I do outside of YouTube. I recently graduated from university. I study politics, which involves studying history. As a result, I've had to research a lot of papers and projects that have required me to discuss sensitive issues and very, very dark parts of history. My very first research paper was about self-immolation after the Prague Spring. For those of you who don't know, self-immolation is suicide by setting yourself on fire. I've written papers and researched things like Soviet history, Nazi history, and some of the darkest parts of World War I and World War II, and the politics and the people behind them. I've been to a lot of dark places where I've experienced some pretty chilling things and read about some very unsavory parts of history. After all the cases that I've had to read and the images that I've seen of what had happened, nothing really phases me anymore. I can read about all kinds of messed up history and immediately do something else without even thinking about it. It doesn't stick in my mind. I can look at pictures of starving people during the Holodomor and not blink twice. As a result, I tend to talk pretty casually about these things and don't know when it's too sensitive to talk about. And since I study politics and I've had to talk about them my entire career, I don't have a very strong political filter either. Also, these were written almost four years ago. I'm a different person now. 
And I think that's what a lot of people don't seem to realize when it comes to cancel culture. Digging up stuff from years ago to throw in somebody else's face is, in my opinion, not a very relevant thing to do because people change over time. I mean, looking at my old writings on fanfiction.net, I mean, I used to be a really, really cringy writer, but now I have an entire novel that I'm trying to publish. I'm not telling the people with the concerns to butt out or that they are stupid. No, they make very valid points and critiques and are definitely entitled to what they think. So you find what I make distasteful. Okay, so it's not for you. I'm not saying not to critique my work either. I rely on these criticisms to improve my work and myself. I need people to tell me what is wrong so I can fix it. I would have never realized this if no one pointed it out. And I believe that this is something that really needs to be discussed. If you don't feel like watching the entire video, here's the summary. Consider this video my content warning, since it is my fault for not providing one in the first place. If you are to watch some of my more serious content or play any of my visual novels, this is your warning. I may be insensitive. I may not know when I have crossed the line. I may discuss very serious topics. No matter how much I try to change that, I know I will not be able to guarantee unproblematic content that is sensitive to all issues, so please proceed with caution. I'm not going to cancel myself, nor am I going to change my content, because the critiques come from like 10 people. There are thousands more that love what I do and don't want me to change a thing. More often than not, I think that's the case for a lot of people. If people like my cringy work, who am I to judge? If the majority of your people consuming your work like it, you shouldn't be hung up on the few that don't, and I think that's something that needs to be said to everyone, especially in times like this. If you have criticism of my work, no matter how harsh, feel free to tell me. I'm nothing without those who consume my content, and if something is wrong, it's my job to improve it so more people can enjoy it. But this is one issue that I can't really fix. I'm sorry. This is something that is hardwired into my brain, and I can't really change that. It's kind of a part of me. It's not a good thing, but it's just one of my flaws. And I hope you can continue enjoying my content in spite of all this. And that's about all I have to say for this video. Until then, keep on studying.